a special event from the Oriental World of Self Defense. This was 1974, from my understanding. And we have Kung Fu Guy, Tayari, on the left, and Joe, Karateka, in the gi. So here we go. Okay, all right. Ooh, spinning. It's not a spinning back fist, kind of like a spinning chop thrown by Kung Fu Guy. That's pretty cool. So, wow. All right. Obviously, they're keeping it semi-contact, right? Nice combo by Kung Fu Guy. Okay, Kung Fu Guy should not have his face open like that on the ground. There we go. There we go. You see that? He said, there we go. That's the nice spin kick by Kung Fu Guy. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the 70s. I could be wrong. This event was held quite a lot, man. So, so funny that this makes jujitsu people really, really happy, right? Because it keeps ending up on the ground where the jiu-jitsu people were like, yeah, but I would have dominated if it stayed on the ground. So, mm, let's see. Both low stances, right? You would associate that with two styles. That. Yeah. Frank a lot of stances. Nice little step inside kick. Okay. Kung Fu guy anticipated. And had a little spin kick that both of them ended up on the ground. It almost looked like Kung Fu guy figured out an arm bar from there. So, okay. Wrong range by Kung Fu guy. He just got stomped on the head. Huh. Karate guy, I think, is bigger. I don't know if it's bigger or just his gi makes him look bigger. I think he's bigger. So, nice. Kung Fu Guy moving a little bit like Bruce Lee. Oh, that was a cool kick. That was a cool kick. Look at that. He even has almost like a like, like a technical stand-up guard, right? That Jiu-Jitsu people practice. Oh, he ate one in the face. Kung Fu Guy ate one. See, Karate Guy acknowledging it. See, I got you. I got you, he said. So, this is really cool. This is so cool. Nice combo by Kung Fu Guy. Unfortunately, there was a close-up. We didn't see... What part he connected. So he got hit in the shoulder, by the way. He just fell. That was not a knockdown. So this is so cool. By the way, you guys have to go subscribe to Martial Arts History Channel. This is where I found it. So I will link it in the description. So you guys let us know who you thought won. The promotion, the event, gave it to the Karateka. Slow motion just to see if we notice anything else from the action. So here we go. Again, yeah, most like this seven. Oh, I didn't even notice them bowing in like that. That's pretty cool. So, so okay, the first strike ever thrown was by Karateka, right? He led with a roundhouse kick and then eventually got sort of tangled. Okay, so it's cool. I missed the bow thing at the beginning. So now sort of once you get hit, right, kind of you know what each other's made of. So, I think Karateka actually pulled that kick, man. That kick might have been able to connect. So, yeah, I get now, watching a slow motion, why they gave it to Karateka. So, um, that was a great spinning hook kick, though. That was awesome. So, that was probably one of the best moments from Kung Fu Guy. And little bit of posturing right that was a great leg kick and he actually ducked the spinning chop or whatever spinning back chop whatever you call it judo chop right <laughs> so kung fu guy learned from that first time where he ate that spinning chop see again karateka tried again so oh i love watching it in slow motion we do catch a lot more right um let's see it's so funny to see a bladed stance. A bladed stance were almost part of the one of the butts is facing them, right? So the Kung Fu guy, that's where we saw he almost stumbled on an arm bar, right? He timed another good spin kick, but this time the energy of the exchange was different. The momentum maybe is the right word. Momentum? Yeah, momentum. So it ended up with Kung Fu guy on the ground, and then Kung Fu guy ended up on the ground again, but got... I, I don't think Karateka stomped completely on his head. More like just, hey, look, I could have stomped you. So, yeah, definitely you can see that Karateka at least appears to the crowd like he's getting the best in most of these exchanges, right? 
And then Kung Fu Guy with the amazing spin kick. Unfortunately, the Karateka kind of moved out of the way and also made it very clear that I, he sort of blocked it a little bit. Parried it, maybe it's the right word. So, finally, oh, Kung Fu Guy with a little bit of, um, he parried the lead hand down. Oh, this is when he ate a punch, but he actually gave a punch back, too. This this exchange was cool. We can lower it down a little bit in speed. Watch this. So, he definitely eats a punch right here, right? He needs it. See, but he, he hits back, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the same power. That punch he ate was the perfect distance. And then here, we have one last exchange. So, yep. And that was the part where it was unfortunately cut into a... And then this part. See, again, confirming. He got punched in the shoulder, but it knocked him down nevertheless. But again, it wasn't because he got hit and got knocked down. The face, that is. It was just because just the way he was standing, his law off balance, he got hit in the shoulder, he fell down. So a little spin kick by Karateka. And then, oh, his... Sidekick or whatever he's trying to throw got jammed. So yeah, I agree. Should have gone to Karateka. Kung Fu Guy had some moments, but Karateka, I think, was more dominant in most of the fight. Make sure to press a like. Make sure to press subscribe. And make sure to leave a comment. Guys, let the YouTube algorithm know that my channel's cool. The algorithm's changed, in case you guys don't know. So if you look at my past videos, it's not doing well. And that's fine. Every time the algorithm changes, it's a net positive. Because my recommendations get better. I found this clip because from one recommendation to another, it ended up leading to some treasure, a martial arts treasure. So if the YouTube algorithm change only temporarily affects my channel, but in the long run it makes this type of content able to be found and makes me able to feature it, then that's good. So YouTube, do your thing, man, but please get my channel back, please. All right, guys, talk to you soon, man. A lot more to come. Bye-bye.